All right, thank you so much for having us. I'm Jamie Walker. And I'm Elise Mason Brill. And we are the founders of Sweat Guru. Before we really get this into the meat of the presentation today, we're gonna play a little two lies and a truth. So the first lie. If you're thinking this throughout our presentation, we just want you to know you might be wrong and we'll be laughing on our way to the bank. <laughs> We are deeply ingrained in this industry. We talk to our customers day in and day out, and we're part of this market. And we look small, but we're really mighty. <laughs> True story. So let's get sweaty, y'all. Our story, oh, sorry, our story started back in 2009. Elise and I were running a successful fitness business here in San Francisco. And it was so successful that we started to have a problem. We had a lot of people showing up, and we were managing our business via text message, Excel spreadsheet, and word of mouth. So as you can imagine, not such good news for business. So we started at thinking about really what we needed to do there. We launched a website very quickly, a corresponding blog, and soon thereafter, very organically, we grew a community of fitness enthusiasts, fitness professionals like ourselves, and athletes from around the country. We now have 3,000 brand ambassadors for that community, a marketing army that is ready, willing, and able to help us take the fitness world by storm. It was through conversations with our community, our customers, that we realized that our pain points managing our business were not unique to us. For fitness professionals, it's really difficult to keep track of your schedule, your clients, and be marketing yourself constantly. For fitness consumers, there's no one place to find fitness, share it with your friends, and keep track of everything that you do. So, as we said, this is no small potatoes market. People today spend more on their yoga pants than they do on their jeans, and that's a fact. And the opportunity isn't just in the apparel space. We estimate there are at least one million small fitness businesses in the US alone, and 99% of them are not consuming technology. So we bring to you Sweat Guru, the first marketplace that is helping people discover fitness classes and experiences online. For consumers, it's a single destination to find any kind of fitness class or experience, to book and pay online. For fitness business owners, it's a place to manage and grow their entire business, including scheduling, payment processing, CRM, analytics, and marketing. So as you can probably guess, we're a SaaS-based business model. The software alone has a revenue potential over 500 million a year. And that's the software alone. We see a lot of different revenue, uh, diversified revenue streams, including lead gen, um, and <laughs> advertising streams, and you know, affiliate programs and the, and the like. We already have the visibility and the relationships in the industry to be successful. We're speaking at all the relevant conferences. We have existing, really strong partnerships with all of the trade associations. And as we mentioned, we have a really strong 3,000 member army ready to work for us. Ooh. And what's a presentation without a bragging page? So here's some things we've, um, <laughs> in just under a year. Thank you so much for having us up. Great job. Thank you. Can you know that good? Did they play Miley Cyrus because for us or is that for you, you have a couple, You'll have a little more Party time. To, uh, you have a little more time to talk. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to get, uh, to keep it moving, I'll get a feedback or a question from each of you and then I'll kind of summarize them and then we'll get the, uh, we'll get the feedback going. So, Jed. Uh, so, I you guys at the Berkeley Business Plan Competition. And it's great to see the progress you've made. Um, I, I think it's a great idea and you've organized it really well. Um, one thing you didn't cover I'm curious about is, is have you already started to get the fitness professionals and how hard of a sales cycle is that to get them to sign up? Yeah, we have actually. All right, um, we'll go ahead and do a quick one. There you go. We'll go, we'll go and get the feedback, but you got to keep your feedback tight. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yes, we have. Um, we've actually been doing, we're in private beta right now, um, so we're very high touch with these initial customers because we're doing a lot of product testing and making sure that the product is perfect, um, but it's been going really well. Um, we've been out you know, meeting with folks in our target markets. HH. Uh, two points. One is, I, I agree it's a big market. I love your guys' domain expertise. I think the focus and what you're doing is really awesome. Kind of the two questions that you don't need to answer now, but they're what I'm thinking about are one, would love to hear what the unit economics are on your business. How much to acquire, how fast it pays back, and those things. And second being, um, you do have competition that's out there, companies like Coach Up and others, which are similar, related, targeting the same thing, and already much bigger than you. Quick answer. Um, yes, so to speak to the competition, there are companies that are trying to enter this space or have entered it, but what we're seeing is they're either on the B2B side or just on the consumer side, and so we're really going after the end-to-end. -end. We see a huge problem in just tackling one end of the problem. Rob? Okay, we do 
Do you want to do that one? Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> customer acquisition costs right now are high because we're being super high touch, um, but we're going to bring that down to less than 1% of the annual revenue per customer by 2015. Yeah, so um, overall, love the energy, love what you're bringing here. Um, I think it is a big category that nobody's completely figured out yet. I will say from a presentation point of view, it was very difficult to follow all the slides. I, it just, it, it felt like huge amounts of information coming as opposed to just focused on here's the product, here's the proposition to our users, and then working from there to understand the other pieces. So I, I, that's something that I, I, would, I, would, I would suggest that you really think through is, how do you simplify the presentation? Thanks, that's great feedback. Um, I mean, I think you guys have covered it, but just in terms of the competition, I would um, address it okay. in your presentation a bit. And I mean, there are lots of guys out there, Gain, Fit Orbit, all those guys, and just kind of explain how you are better. Sure. And Charles Hudson from SoftTech is here. Charles, question or comment? Yeah, I guess overall I thought, I missed, apologies, I missed the beginning, but my, my feedback was sort of like Rob's. I wasn't sure whether the target was really the the sort of the more studio-based fitness operation that has people who come and drop in and you could aggregate them in groups or the individual. Okay. And I, the, my immediate question was, how does this compare to MindBody? That's the one competitor that kind of jumped out it. And I apologize if you would cover that before I got here. No, we can yeah. answer that. We can answer that. Uh, we were actually customers of MindBody and the reason we're here today is because it's a terrible product. Um, <laughs> um, it's very expensive, it's B2B, it was built in 2001 and it hasn't been updated since and it's very siloed, so each business has its own sort of installation, and consumers have to have 10 million different logins. It's not a complete end-to-end -end solution. Great, thank you, thank you. We'll get one more startup up here. You guys have bread and butter wine, great pitch. Yay. Thank you, and, thank you everybody. Uh,